Whew. In today's video, we're gonna make a fire using a friction method known as the hand drill. Now, in my opinion, this is one of the most difficult methods to actually make fire. You really have to have the right material and technique, but once you make one, it's really satisfying. I tried this for a long time with lots of failures, and even after setting it down and not making it for several years, I had trouble picking it up. But now I'm pretty confident. I've been practicing a lot. You have to build up the muscles. It uses a lot of energy, get calluses on your hands, and you really have to make sure you have a good kit with the right material. That is so important. You can experiment with different materials, but basically you need two components, a fireboard or a hearth and a spindle. Now for the spindle, I really like different dried stalks of flowers. I've used cattail stalk. Here for this video, I'm gonna use a spindle made out of horseweed. It's a great material for making the hand drill. I also like mullein, even thistle stalk, mule fat. There's a lot of combinations, but it has to be very dry. I like the ones that are kind of pithy on the inside, a little bit harder on the outside. And for the fireboard here, I'm using cedar. But you can't use just any cedar, it has to be well seasoned. This is off a dead branch. And you also can't have too much of that red center wood. I have more of the sap wood. Now there's a few things you have to know when making this. First of all is technique. You don't wanna just start going full bore, twisting it as hard as you can because it uses a lot of energy and it's hard to keep up that pace for the whole length you'll need to actually make a fire. So I like to start out slow, get warmed up, warm up my muscles. And once I start to see smoke right at the end, that's when you push hard and down and spin it as fast as you can. Also, once you see smoke, you don't wanna stop. You wanna keep going longer than you think. Even after you think you have an ember, it only helps to go until really you're too tired or you're sure you have a glowing ember. Once you have that glowing ember, you wanna have all your materials ready and you don't need to panic. You can slowly let it grow, build in heat, transfer it to your tinder bundle, and then we'll add oxygen and make the fire. So I have a leather pad on the ground to collect that carbon dust and also protect it from moisture. We have our fireboard already burnt in with the notch and our spindle. We're gonna twist that right here until it smokes enough to have our ember collected. Then we're gonna transfer that carbon dust that's glowing into our tinder bundle. Here I have some fluff from cattail, some dry branches, dry grass, and we're gonna turn this into a flame. So like I said, this is a workout. I'm gonna take off my coat because I get all sweaty. I kind of loosen up my arms, give them a good stretch. And don't forget if you're wearing jewelry, especially a wedding ring, I take that off because it rubs. After doing this while, I do get calluses on my hands. But what I'm gonna do is secure the fireboard with my foot right here. Make sure it doesn't move around. Place my spindle on the end and then I'm gonna get it warm by going nice and slow at first, just twisting it. I'm not going fast or pushing hard. I'm getting warmed up and warming up our fire kit. I'm already seeing smoke, that's a good sign. We got our coal, I'll transfer that. You don't wanna to blow too hard right now, the heat's just building in there. It's not going out anytime soon. Oh, this is going good. Huh. 
it's pretty smoky. Fortunately, there's a wind going that way. That cattail is really glowing. And now we have a flame. Man, that worked out well. A fire with a bow drill. I really enjoy trying these friction fire methods and this is one of the most difficult, but with practice and the right material, you can make a fire. Thank you so much for watching. Ooh. Uh, if you want to see more fire making videos, I have several more including the fire plow, the fire thong, I'm going to do a piston fire, and different methods. So stay tuned for more survival videos. It's starting to rain. I made this just in time. Thank you so much for watching.